me and Maurizio, we were um, our teacher, Nisa Kadata. He's uh, he was living. He died in the 80s. He was a Advaita Vedanta teacher in India. Uh-huh. We went to make a movie about his work, and he told his students, you know, what I'm teaching you is not a spirituality. One day, science will come and understand what I'm teaching about oneness, interconnectedness, unity. We are not our thoughts. Um, so we were like, well, let's explore if there is such a science that can help us understand who we are deeper, understand the unity of life, of reality, how we construct reality. Mm-hmm. So those are the questions we had. We're like, let's see if we can find scientists on that level, right? Not yeah. the scientists that are cutting reality into pieces, separate pieces, and trying to explain reality that way, but those that actually see the wholeness of life and reality. So that was our inquiry, and we did find incredible scientists, quantum physics, biologists, neuroscientists, uh, mathematicians, yeah, 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 that actually could, you know, they did their science, but afterwards they arrive at the same place where the mystics have always said, you know, we're not separate. We are interconnected uh, in a deep, when you go deep into the quantum level of reality, that's what we see. When you go into the cosmos, we all we see is relationships, relational reality. Nothing exists separate of anything else. Mm -hmm. Do you remind me this beautiful story that uh, somebody had a cup of coffee and he decided, mm-hmm. I want to thank everybody who is responsible for this cup of coffee. So he went to the coffee shop and he says, thank you. And then he realized, oh, I have to thank also the lady who cleaned. Oh, I have to thank the people with the truck that brings the coffee from there to here. Oh, I have to thank the person who makes the tire of the, of the truck. Then he ended up in Brazil, in the jungle, and then he has to thank the trees, and then he has to thank the flowers, then he he has to thank everything. So we are a web of relation. Each and every, each and every, everything is deeply related to everything else. And the mystic sees this, but also the science can see this. So it's beautiful when we have this sensation that everything is connected and everything is one and reach it from both the science and the mystical point, help us to, to be validated, to feel it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And we're not doing big events, uh, but we're continuing that exploration, because, I mean, this is really, for us, still the most beautiful quest that we have in this life, to question who we are and what's reality, and don't settle for one answer, but keep asking the question. Yeah. Yeah. For us, the question is more important than the answer, because once you have an answer, then you can become, oh, I know, but we never know. Yeah. I, in my life, had a a problem that always I was somehow on a negative side of something. Oh, yeah, me too. Because, for example, when I, when I finished uh, the school, like I don't know how it's called, secondary school, but 18, 18 years old. So okay, high school. Yeah, maybe it's high school in English. Yeah, in English. yeah we, we, had a, we had a small theater and I played uh, Jesus Christ and we should uh, give the paper cross back to the, some school representative after, after um, we had such ribbons okay. and we should give these ribbons to this cross and then uh, uh, give it to the school representative and it just uh, did not go this way <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Ouch. So, so uh, I don't know why, but every time I have to, uh, I have to be uh, against some system, but I, uh, before, uh, because of this, I don't believe science much, but this is the lower yes. science. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. This is the science like school, yeah, where, exactly. Where you have to pass exams. It's anti-science, and, actually. It's not, science. Yeah. It's not uh, it actually kills curiosity. The science, the way we are taught in school, yeah. kills the curiosity. Kills. Yeah. Uh, kills. Like, kills. destroys. Kills. Like, kills. destroys kills. curiosity. Kills. And the same with the religion. 
because yeah. there is the religious people you have to wear the specific color cut your hair in a certain way dogma. and dogma say the word 27 times and Jesus, God will be happy yeah. and then there is the mystic yeah. the yeah. mystic sits in awe in the presence of God yeah. the mystic doesn't care yeah. about the rules right they, same, yeah. same dogma inside. in science yeah. and dogma, and dogma in, spirituality. in spirituality so what we did as an organization we look for the scientists who don't believe in dogma and the mystics who don't believe in religion was it possible to find such yes people? Yeah. yes not many yeah. it's very difficult <laughs> but yeah. they are people there are. i understand that that must be really difficult for people like you who are, who are basically open to somehow uh, distinguish who is a good uh, mystic and who is uh, maybe uh, not yeah. so good mystic and who is more or less uh, yeah, yeah. that's difficult yeah. it's difficult and also a lot of spiritual teachers yeah. they also have big shadow that's the other thing if they haven't done their own work like if they just go for the spiritual up there Yeah. They could be a big shadow, so that's another thing we always watch carefully yeah. when we present a spiritual teacher. Make sure that this teacher would not hurt people because of some inintegrated parts. Yeah. 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 That's very difficult to find such also, people yeah. in the world, but I believe that yes. they are. They're not. Yeah. You're right. It's very difficult. And with the mystics and, uh, for example, Christianity, Christianity, which was my religion I baptized myself but it was just just a, a accident <laughs> it was in the morning and I told to one, one girl who uh, lived in my flat but I told her to bring me some water and I baptized myself yeah. and I still believe that this has some uh, some meaning of and course. it's both both protest and both it's uh, adherence to some tradition yeah yeah and it came spontaneously right uh, yeah. Almost like a joke, but then I uh, realized that it also has a meaning Did for me. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful. And uh, I liked what you said, Maurizio, that you you were living uh, a normal life, maybe some someday in the past, and you had this uh, very very special moments of uh, open mind, and then you realized that you can. Uh, live this all the time is it is it true something like this not maybe all the time but that what you are was your special mystical experience could be more often in your life uh, let, let's say for me spirituality is this yeah and this is always here I don't I'm not interested in a spirituality that is separated from life Like, oh, now I'm spiritual. Can you give me my parking spot? Can't move out, right? Yeah, yeah. I, if I'm, I want to be spiritual, it means breathing in, breathing out, talking to you, mm -hmm. talking around. To me, this is spirituality. And I would say to us, this is spirituality, right? So for us, it's important to make spirituality day to day, moment to moment. And we try, you know, yeah. to be present. And respond. Yeah. yeah. So, It's not a, some special state that exists in the future. Yeah. Know, or somewhere that's, else. That's kind of the, the, the fairy tale of salvation, right? It is somewhere in the future. It's here. Yeah. Each and every moment. You will be saved. No. <laughs> Now, in yeah. this moment, who yeah. am I? What yeah. am I? Am I sincere? Am I present? Am I aware? In Czech context, many many people would call spirituality uh, the maybe books about some special themes, and this is what you call spirituality. I called for myself something like magic that it's both uh, both uh, spiritual, but both it's a body and the environment. It yeah. is just a different board, but maybe yeah. very similar. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, we use the word magic, magic a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's a mystery, mystery. kind of. Yeah. A, this life is mysterious. We cannot figure it out with our little minds, you yeah. know, human minds. <laughs> it's yeah. way too. Yeah. 
Yeah. And yet, the beauty of life is the curiosity to keep asking. The questions, as you were saying the before, longing, right? The questions. The longing to know mm -hmm. who we are, even though we might never understand, you know, here or now. And maybe yeah. the last question. Um, or I, I don't know how we are with time. Oh, we have plenty of time. Yeah. I would like to ask you maybe the question about your future projects, because I know that uh, you you met somewhere in 2007 or something like this, mm -hmm. and then started uh, to live together oh, yeah. and also travel to India, and um, you made maybe three or four films, and what what is the next thing, or maybe tell yeah. whatever you want, because yeah. this is... The next film will be about intergenerational trauma and how intergenerational trauma created through generation the society we live in. Yeah. And this society that we call normal, the society in which you have to give the cross after the play to the principal, yeah. that's no, that makes no sense, <laughs> right? And, and this is all, so we want to make a movie that explain, that explain, that try to help us understand why we are here in this society so full of violence, hate, uh, injustice, disconnect, and find, a, see if there is a new angle, a new way that we can, uh, mm -hmm. in which we can see our life. And Do you want to add to it? Yeah, because our pain didn't start with us. We are born in a field that carries trauma. Yeah. So we want to explore in a larger context throughout different cultures. And I mean, one of the traumas that humanity carries comes from the Abrahamic religions, right? Religion has created a lot of separation. So we are planning to go also and trace some of the roots of trauma for humanity, collective traumas that we carry. Yeah. And why, you know, we keep perpetuating and hurting each other, even though we know that that's not the way. So why we're in a war again? I mean, war has never stopped, you know. Yeah. This is, now it's in the face of Europe what's happening in Ukraine. But that is a trauma that has not been faced and we've, it's been passed on from generation to generation. Yeah. So these are some of the questions we're going to yeah. ask. That's really nice. Also, there is, a, there is a trauma, for example, of women where uh, the history uh, not so free as they are now, right. maybe yeah. somewhere at least. Yeah. Right. And you will uh, probably uh, concern both European, uh, American and other contexts? Yes, yeah. Yeah, we are starting to film in uh, Palestine uh -huh. and then perhaps we will go to Brazil, definitely in, we will work with uh, indigenous uh, in the States and First Nation in Canada. So those are the stories yeah. we want to tell also that indigenous stories. Yeah, because all the culture, uh, mm. tr this trauma has been, is an underlying to every human being, you mm. know, and so we want to find a way in which we can see a story that becomes universal, a story that can connect us, not continue dividing exactly. us. There is enough separation already. Mm. Like what happened in this movie we made that you saw, The Wisdom of Trauma, we didn't expect that, but people feel connected all over the world. We are here in Czech Republic and you seem to have liked and understood yeah. the movie as much as people that told us the same thing in Brazil or in the Philippines. And that's beautiful. We want to find a way to connect each other. We see our role as, as connectors. We want to find common denominator between humanity. Because if I see you as me, then I have to, I cannot hurt you, because by hurting you, I'm hurting me. If I see the ocean as me, if I see the, the earth as me, the soil, I cannot poison the soil, because I'm poisoning myself. It's only when I see you as different, when I see you behind the wall, 
right? When I see you, oh, you are behind the wall, you are a different nation, you are my enemy, <laughs> then I can hurt you. Yeah. And it's crazy. I want to see, I, we, our dream is that in this planet we see each and every one as brothers and sisters, and we see every living being as creature that are brother and sister to us, every plant, every tree, every drop of water, then we'll be kinder to each other and to the planet. Because all we want at the end is to be in peace. We want our family, our children to be happy. We want a roof on our head. We want somebody who loves us. What else do you want? <laughs> I'm not sure whether I'm able to feel this. Uh, I feel this now because I really like your story and your movies and so on. But I was on the wedding uh, last weekend and there were football players, a lot of them dancing together and I did not like this group of football players who were dancing. Yeah. And I had some prejudices yeah. or something like this, uh, why, why they are drinking and why they are yeah. shouting and why they are yeah. dancing yeah. with each other. These so sometimes it's difficult to love the human. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. Difficult, yeah. but also know that to recognize that they also are probably in pain, and that's why yeah. they're acting and drinking, let's say, or behaving that way. Yeah. It comes from their own pain. That kind of helps. I mean, judgment happens, but then yeah. there is also compassion. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, they also hurt, just like we are all. They yeah. just acted out differently. When I see, I watch football a lot. I'm yeah. Italian, I watch football a lot. My team, Sampdoria. <laughs> and, uh, in Genova. In Genova. <laughs> in and when I see the football player, when they make a score or when they miss a goal, now after making this work, I see their pain. Yeah. I see the little child that is looking to dead sometimes <laughs> these hundred thousand people around screaming ah you missed the goal and i see oh I, i'm sorry that i see their trauma i see yeah. their pain and and and, and, he, and i feel you know i feel more compassion if you wish and and that doesn't mean that still some people annoy me i'm not saying i'm special nobody annoys me people annoy me and i'm like you sometimes i like ah but but i try to see you know, through it, and as I said, see them through the lens of understanding. They have their story. God knows what happened to them when they were kids. Yeah. God knows. Do you think that everybody has his or her tra trauma from maybe childhood or from like, I think so. so. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't met yet a human being without trauma. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Gabor does this beautiful thing at an event let's say a thousand people, Gabor says, anybody who had a happy childhood, and three, four people, me, me, said, would you give me five minutes and I'll show you that you are not? <laughs> and he takes him on the stage. He says, yeah, I was very happy. Oh yeah, tell me. Well, my father was drunk and he was always leaving. And, and he said, and all the audience is like, oh God. <laughs> and after two or three minutes, the person said, okay, always. <laughs> Yeah. I played this game with Bill Hall one day and he told me uh, your mother is a real problem. He played uh, Bill Hall, he played, I don't know if you know him, the American uh, psychotherapist. And he was also diagnosed with schizophrenia lot in the past and then overcoming the concept. Yeah, the concept. Yeah. The stigma of it. The stigma of it. And he played a, a drama and he uh, played a wrong uh, therapist and I was playing the patient in front of 100 uh, people and he told me, your mother is a real problem. <laughs> and I think now after maybe five years of uh, further ther therapy, maybe he was uh, really he, right. He saw something. Yeah, he yeah. saw something. Yeah. Yeah. Also, also, uh, although this is maybe true in some emotional level, in other level you see that uh, the people are striving really much to help you and they are in connection with you. It's really difficult. But also the important thing yeah. is to know that our mothers, they had it hard themselves. Yeah. And they yeah. did, they did the best they could. Yeah. As we are all doing, we all do the best we can. If I'm a football player, I do the best I can. 
You do the best you can. I do the best. We all do the best you can. Yeah, we have to score the goal. People yeah. make me happy. <laughs> yeah. But no. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see a football player who misses a goal and is happy. They will kill him. <laughs> also, yeah. removing the stigma on mental illness is, I think, so much needed in society. Yeah. It's also creating, it's perpetuating trauma. Yeah. yeah. Not the way we. Something it. like sanc- sanctioning. Yeah, yeah. yeah, judging, sanctioning, labeling. Yeah, that That's that just keeps perpetuating the pain. So maybe this will also uh, somehow be part of your next film about I hope oh, so. yeah. transgression. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Also in this previous film, you know, yeah. is not what happened to you. It's, it's not, not what you did. It's not what there you did. There is nothing it's wrong with nothing you. Wrong with it's you. what happened to it's you. It's what happened yeah. to you that make you. Or to your ancestors. Yeah. Yeah. It could be that something. Yeah. There are some, uh, in a, in a certain tribe in the African tradition, Gabor says that in which when somebody does something wrong, they don't tell you. Uh, everybody gets in a circle and tells them how good they are. What they, what's good what they about are, you. What's good about you. Yeah. Not what's wrong Not with what's you. wrong about you. To reintegrate them into the community. Yes. Okay. Okay. Maybe that's for this. Thank you Thank very you. much for this interview and good luck with uh, promoting the community of sense and non duality and both of your, also with your life. I think that that's great to meet people like you for everyone. Likewise. 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 Pleasure to meet you. You and your team and your crew. Thank you, thank you, thank you all.